Hey guys and welcome back for another deck review and if you're new to the channel don't forget to like and subscribe if you like content like this and in this channel I do deck review unboxing and magic tutorials today we're gonna we're gonna do a deck review on Ace Fulton's playing card arcade Fulton's to be specific this deck right here fun little thing Okay. Okay, let's start. We're gonna just open this. Oh, this is smooth. The cellophane went right off. Like this. So we're gonna do a deck review of this card. But first, let's talk a little bit about the deck. The Ace Fultons is a deck designed by a guy named Brad Fulton. He have done a lot of work with the, the Buck Twins, Dan and Dave. He have designed card with them for over a decade. He, he started working with them on the Smoke and Mirrors. The Smoke and Mirrors is a deck that is, it's like one of the biggest deck in, in the magical or, or playing card industry for magic and cardistry especially. But that's a deck that have been printed, I think it's seven or eight versions of it now. So about two weeks ago, they dropped a new release of the Smoke and Mir Mirrors with a, a kind of a holographic uh, design. It's a set with two decks that sold out in under two minutes, I think. So that's amazing. But uh, Brad Fulton's then decided to start his own brand, and that is the Ace Fulton's. He have a lot of a lot of deck in his collection. He have many. Today we're gonna do a deck review on one of the newest version, Arcade. That's a deck that are designed with a. 80s inspiration like you know 80s video games and yeah everything from the early 80s so if you're born in the 80s or you like retro gaming or, or stuff like that this deck will be <laughs> special to you okay let's just get started yeah so let's talk about the cards we're gonna start with the back design and the back design is printed with the platon silver metallic ink it gives them a nice shiny background and these this deck is pretty different from the others ace fultons ace fultons usually have uh, have a design that are uh, pretty similar to the fontaines actually in my opinion but this is very different it got a nice thick border and it got a lot of squares actually got squares within squares and it's like one blank and one with a logo and you have to look a little bit closely to see but you can see it's the it's the f from the Fulton's logo, two of them uh, inside the square. So if you look closely, you can see that it's the two F's <laughs> from the Fulton logo. And then you got the Fulton logo in red metallic ink on the corners, both corners. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it about the back design. I have to say, I think they are a little bit similar to the first playing cards, actually. It gives me, me that vibe. So let's talk about the faces of the cards we're gonna start with the ad cards so you've got a fun little card looks like this it says uh, <laughs> department of justice winners don't use drugs jeremy c klein director fbi fun little thing so all of these cards are inspired from the 80s so you should get a little bit nostalgic and get the 80s vibe from this thing so the second ad cards is this it's the same design that are on the tuck case. It says Fulton's and then it says owner Brad Fulton, manager Nova Fulton, mechanic Snow Fulton, <laughs> catering Karen and Van Fulton, repairs Daniel Phillips. So that's the second ad cards and then you got two identical jokers. I really like this. This is nice jokers it's got this arcade gaming look to it, it looks like a cowboy in, in the western but in the arcade gaming style so that's nice and i really appreciate that it's two identical jokers as i say, said before that's very good for magic and for a lot of magic effects so that's nice if i should be a little bit picky i would uh, rather have at least one duplicate yeah that's me being picky then let's talk about the faces of the cards it's so not not too much to say 
you got standard faces on all cards except some minor color adjustments on the picture cards so instead of having the the standard blue and yellow you have silver and black actually with silver metallic ink same as on the back and that's on every single picture card here you can see the same on the on the diamonds and on the clubs so other than that it's completely standard faces but one face card we always talk about is you guessed it ace of spades so that's completely com customized you have a big spades pip with a with a f logo from the fultons in the center and you got all around these small white triangles going around all the way and in the middle you have a white circle then a black and then one more white with the fultons inside and it says the fultons playing card company on the bottom here i like this ace of spades it's uh, very nice that's make this deck perfect for everything you want to use it for everything from magic to card games collecting and if you ask me this is the best ace fulton design i've seen i don't have too many ace fulton decks i have maybe four or five different uh, but i have some this is by far the prettiest and best looking ace fulton deck i've seen okay so just to show you like a more typical ace fulton uh, design this is the ace fulton casino pink edition so this is more typical ace fulton design but we're not talking about this deck today so so let's talk about the handling of the deck this deck are printed by united states playing card company on a normal crushed stock i think i i, I actually tried to find out uh, which stock and everything but i i couldn't find that information but it feels no different from a standard bicycle deck so if you know how that feel then you know how this feel to me i can't feel the difference actually so if you buy this deck it's for the design not for the handling because i personally think if you have a standard bicycle deck or a standard uh, tally ho deck that's more than enough to do everything you want card strip magic card games whatever you want that's more than enough but if you want to change up the with the design and stuff this is a good alternative you can get this card still on the ace fulton's website along with other different fulton's deck so i just got my hand on on this i bought a half brick just to have some and i really like this deck but yeah we were supposed to talk about the handling and i just rambled but this deck handles very very nice as i said like a normal bicycle deck and it fans good easy to fan with a, th a thumb fan and pressure fan and it yeah ferro perfect okay so the pricing of this deck is a little bit expensive i think it's 18 dollars for one deck compared to a bicycle deck that's usually about between three and five dollars it's pretty expensive but then again it's like the metallic ink on the on the cards are are uh, making the price a lot more expensive and the tuck case is really nice uh, with the black mat and uh, the different metallic inks on it so that makes the deck a lot more expensive to produce therefore it will also be more expensive but ace fultons is also like kind of like uh, almost up there as with fontaines and anyone so you pay a little bit for the brands and and collectors are more than willing to pay all between 12 and 20 dollars per deck oh yeah one more thing if you order this they they're, they're really fast on uh, on the shipping they, they come really fast personally i really like this deck if i should give this like a, a rank uh, rating i would give this eight and a half out of ten the sign in itself the back design nine and a half out of ten now nine nine out of ten actually nine out of ten on the back design uh, the handling i like the softer ones uh, a little bit more with the air cushion finish but yeah i'll give this eight and a half maybe maybe nine out of ten i really really enjoy this deck okay guys so thank you for watching and see you guys on the next one and if you like content like this please like subscribe and hit that notification bell see you guys on the next one peace